Hey, Trevor Matthews here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I want to talk a little bit about check valves. Why do we use check valves in your system? Well, so if refrigerant flows in one direction and doesn't come back in the other direction. Great examples are so certain scroll compressors in applications. Depending on the application, you may need to add a discharge check valve so the scroll pushes the gas out, but when it shuts down, no gas comes back. Okay, you also can use them for migration and refrigerant migration. All depending on the application, you need to check the AE bulletins to see if you need a certain check valve for that compressor. We see them in other parts of the system so we can flow around different valves, okay? If you're doing reverse gas um, defrost, you'll have a check valve around, say, the TX valve for an example. I have uh, one here cut open. This is an ACK18. Uh, it's a little larger one. It has an arrow on it. So make sure you install them the right way because you're going to be in a world of hurt if you install them the wrong way. Inside, there's the little check valve in there. There's little guides right here for it. So as that, the refrigerant goes through, <coughs> you're, So as that refrigerant goes through one direction, but stops when it comes back, okay? There's a screen inside there, if you can see, 30 mesh screen in these ones. And this one here, actually, the 18 can do uh, CO2. This is a hermetic, uh, hermetically spun uh, check valve. And on the CO2 ones, you can use it in the subcritical or secondary system and cascade systems, as long as the... Um, the relief pressure is below the maximum working pressure of this check valve. I want to hear any of your check valve stories, if you install them, if you check compressor manuals to see if you need a check valve for that specific compressor. My name is Trevor Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.